Um, today I'm going to show you how to use Spiral Spy to make a little custom minifigure with nothing special. Now what I've done is I've gone and go I've gone ahead and I've shortcutted Spiral Knights uh, Spiral Spy to my desktop so that I have it for a lot easier access. I don't have to go into the folder and find it. I can just click on it right here and that'll take a second to pop up so let's just wait for that. I normally like to fit it to one side of my screen, not the default, um, but a little bit bigger so I can see. And what we get here when we first um, start up Spiral Spy is we can see our little character, gray scale, gray background, gray world, and um, he's just, he's blah. And for basic character design, you can go in and you can basically pick anything you want. So it gives you choices. These choices won't be saved, and this is your only one model on this level. So um, you just click on the sidebar here. You see you have helmet, armor, everything's simply labeled. So let's say you want to give this little dude a sword. You click on the section that says um, config. You click on config and then you have some options here up one level desktop create new folder and you have a bunch of different items here all these items right now are helmets so you go up and everything's organized as it normally would be in the spiral knights folder so it's a little hard to navigate at first but you figure it out later on so you're gonna go up and one level you have your helmets another level up you have your gear one more level up you have all of your items within the game so you're gonna click on your weapon set you're gonna clip on let's give this guy mm, a cutter so you're gonna click on just to go back you're gonna click on swords then you're gonna go under cutter and click on the model that now it starts out with a fang of Og. Um, you have a variant selector right here so you can switch this easily to any other variants there's some variants that you don't see in the game like ghost shadow all these other ones I'm playing around with um, but you also have the default variants and every single one. Now let's say you want to change the armor on this little dude. So you go to armor, you click config, you start out in double belt, which is this standard grayscale double belt. And the, um, I don't know the exact name of this gear, I know it's a default proto set. But um, what you can do with it is you can change the texture of it with the variant. So it doesn't have to be the default always. Now you can even go to um, into the armor panel and pick a different set of armor. So I'm just going to use plate as an example. And you have a class setting and a player setting here. A uh, class setting and a color setting. And I never really play with the class setting because it's, it's setting the color for different units. So instead of your default colors, sometimes it can mess with the armor. It'll give you um, different color sets. So when you change it, you have different options, and it has different effects. Um, staying within the realm of basic here, we're just going to use um, player controls uh, class for color. And you just have all the um, default colors that you get to pick at when you're first creating your knight. So indigo and orange and other colors so we'll just make this dude orange um, what we're gonna do with this little guy is we're going to um, go up to armor we're gonna change his armor like I said again there's a variant maker so you can change his helmet to any color you want but I wanna play around with it a little bit more than that so I'm going to go to skelly helm I'll give him a skelly helm and there's even other items. They're mismatched because they're used off different source items. But there's other items that complete the newer sets of armor in the game. And you can tell where they're going to be by similarity and look. Like right here, there's the Allmire helmet, but it's under Skelly variant because it uses the same um, Skelly set with that little fold coming off the back. I guess you could call it a fold. But again, with the Skelly set, you can change um, its variant, so we can make it Sinister Skelly, and then we can give this dude red, um, a red helmet. But you notice this hasn't changed his eyes at all. So what we're going to do now is, oh, if my zoom feature will work here, um, first of all, we're going to give him a helmet that shows his eyes a lot better than 
Skelly. So let's say Cavalier. And this is the um, the Chateau of the Rose or whatever helmets. And then you go up to the top of your sidebar and you have your colorization. You have um, the class again and your color. And you'll just pick whatever color you want to make it. So this time it'll change the eyes. But here's where this stuff gets fun. So I'll post a link in the description. Um, Happy Apathy, one of the um, better create users of this program, created a palette of faces and a tutorial on how to make new faces. So what you can do with your character is you can give him um, different looks. And the default gives you eye cheeky, eye default, and um, eye closed. So it gives you little slat eyes when your character's blinking, little happy eyes, and the default eyes, the blank eyes. But once you download Happy Apathy's expansion, you can go in and you can take um, different mo modes that he's made, different moods. So you have frowny eyes and you have raised eyes that are slightly raised. I don't know what effect that's supposed to prefer. But you have like dead eyes and you have um, spiral eyes, which are kind of my favorite eyes. So we'll give this guy these spiral eyes right now. And I'm going to go ahead and even go down, back down to Helmet, go to Variant, and change the Variant, which actually will, in fact, change the source color because this is a costume item and there's so many different colors for it. So I'm just playing with this guy's colors, and I like gold. So, um, moving on, you'll notice that at the bottom of your sidebar, scrolling all the way down, um, aside from a weapon, you also have a shield option, which is right here. And um, you can even you can choose whether that weapon needs to be away or not away. So I'll show that feature real quick. Going into the item um, config, you go up because it's going to bring you to where you last were. And um, I was in helmets last, so it's brought me to the helmet folder. I'm going up, and I have the shield folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the shield folder, and I'm going to give this guy an owl light shield. So. Again, to navigate, you're normally going to be going up in your folders and double-clicking to go back down into areas you need to explore. So you, I'm going to go ahead and give him an owl light. I'm going to give him the highest ranking owl light. As you can see, the models are um, listed by rank in some sections. Some sections, there's just a model dat. Normally, in model dats, they'll have variants. If they have a rank, then it's saying that starred item. So R5 is a five-star item. Now if you look at the back of my Spiral Knight, he has this nice um, Owl Light shield on his back, and if you put it on his, um, if you put the shield away to tr false, he'll um, be having it equipped. So I've never seen what label or material do, so I'm not going to cover that right now. I just want to make a note right now, these, um, these tutorials I'm making are in no way professional because I didn't in no way create this program. Spiral Spy created this program. So these are just uh, methods I've learned and that I use to make models, and they're to help you guys make new models. So we're going to go ahead and um, work with the um, accessories now, because after, I think it was two or three updates ago, Balcomo came to town, and he said accessories for everyone. So you could strap items onto your um, gear now. So... Um, aesthetic items to be exact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself those new sexy dragon wings. So I'm going to go ahead and position myself behind my knight and I'm going to um, give him these dragon wings. So it starts us out in the last directory we were in. We were in shields. So it, I would like to be specific. Every time we go up we're going out. So owl light, shields, gear, and then under gear is accessory. You go ahead and click on accessory. You go to armor because we're placing it on his armor. You go into back because we're placing it on his back. You go into wings, and everything is the preset wings, but under wings is a dragon folder. That means dragon wings, basically. So I want to give him divine dragon wings. There's a model of DVN. DVN stands for divine. Now, you'll have to spend some time to learn these because there's a lot of them, but like SHD is shadow and um, VOL is volcanic. They're fairly simple and easy to learn once you get used to them but um you know it's just it's just one of those things you gotta learn how to use the program so you're gonna open up model preset that loads all the presets of the game that are in the game so you want to put like give the pink set of armor rings I, I think it's royal in the game 
but in this it's called PNK, which stands for pink. Normally they're listed by their color or their quick word, so like heavy, HVY for heavy, before, like I said, DVN for divine. It doesn't glow because you're using the preset model. Um, VOL for volcanic. So nothing glows in the preset. That's where you want to go in and open up your um, source file, and it'll actually give it the effects, which is pretty nice. Um, then we're going to give this guy some, we're going to give him a barrel belly on the front. So easily as we did, we're just going to go back out. We're going to go to front this time. We're going to pick barrel, and we'll do uh, barrel preset. And we'll pick a uh, heavy barrel because he's wearing heavy armor. And one more item we're going to give this guy, just because we're still dicking around with um, accessories. We're going to go back out into the file, and you'll notice under accessories there is helm. This is where you're going to find all the accessories you strap onto your helm. Now, as from what I've been experiencing, experiencing with, it doesn't matter which section of helm you pick. You can put on every single helm item in any order. So if you pick helm back and you want to put a samurai sigil on a little samurai crest on his front, you pick helm, helm back and then you go into the accessory helm folder. Oh, hold on. I got a little lost myself. Um, and you go to tops because that's where it would normally be placed. You go to model Sam Crest preset. Sam Crest is for the samurai one. And you'll again, you'll have to explore these to um, learn all the names for every single file. But it's pretty straightforward. You just need to know the right terminology. You will have the you will show up with the Sam Crest on the front. But it says helm back, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Any of these items will strap something to your head where it is supposed to be for the most part. The only problem I've come across is when you're actually trying to stick something like a plume to the back of their head and we'll just use model preset and it tends to float off of their head. Now I haven't seen any fixes for this. I know how to fix this but I'm not going to get into that right now. There's, there's other ways to do um, accessories on your knight which I'll be covering in the advanced model. But this is just, you know, basic learning how to uh, mess with the default model. Um, I think that's all I'm going to go over right now. one last thing I'm going to show you here before I go. Um, you'll notice that your model, your, at the top where it says model, you have model dot dat. And you have a, at the bottom here an animations listening. This is, allows you to use any animation that this model has been um, added. So um, you have a basic attack here, you have some hurt animations, you have some idle animations, so you gotta stand up and do a little idle animation. Um, <clears throat> this character in specific is on model dot that. Now Happy Apathy went in and found a new model file. So if you click on config under file and you slide the bar it's alphabetical. You, you slide the bar all the way over here. You'll find model level. You'll notice I have some extra models I've made, and I'll cover that later. But you click on model level, and it won't change him. It'll just put him in the default model stance so you can see uh, every feature of his body. And then you can start the animation to idle. But you'll notice your list is a lot larger for using. Um, items. So I've got I've set some extra ones on this model. So he has a run option. He has a extra strike option. He has a firing option, even though he's not carrying a gun. And then the, some of the default ones are being ready with your sword or um, drawing your shield, which you didn't have before. Um, being shot, which you didn't have before as well. And uh, that's about it. That's all for my basic tutorial. So, I guess I'll see you guys in my next lessons. In my advanced tutorial, I'll be covering how to make custom textures in your gear, um, make your model permanent, how to save your model, how to add custom animations, and how to do some other fun tips and tricks that I've found out as I've played with this program.